What's up everyone, my name is Josh Rezepica and today is Mute Monday. Now if you're new around here, Mute Monday is a weekly series where I discuss and demonstrate different trumpet mutes. This week I am very excited to be sharing with you all of these fantastic Harman cup mutes. Now many of you may have a Harman mute at home, but it is probably their wow wow mute, the, uh, the mute that everyone refers to as the Harman mute. Um, but you may not be aware that they make excellent cup mutes. So I am very excited to share all of these with you. I've got some vintage ones. I've got one here from the 1930s, one from the 1940s, um, and then a couple brand new ones. So uh, you're gonna wanna check these all out. Now, before we get started, if you have yet to download my free mute handbook, click the link below, uh, enter your email address, and I will send it directly to your inbox. It is filled with tips and tricks that are gonna help elevate your mute game and bring your playing to the next level. All right, starting off, I have two vintage mutes from the Harman Mute Company. This first one, this is a mute that was actually loaned to me from the Harman Mute Company. Check this out. Uh, I featured this one a couple weeks back and it's not adjustable. This is a metal mute. This is actually the smallest of all the ones as far as the diameter and the size and the depth of the cup. Uh, so you're gonna hear how this one sounds different. And uh, my understanding is that this is from the 1930s. So this is a pretty old mute. Speaking of old mutes, check this one out right here. This is a triple play mute, all right? So Harman makes a cup mute, they call it a triple play because this is actually three mutes in one. Uh, it is a straight mute and then if you take this bottom piece off, that functions as a, as a wah mute. And then also you put it together and here you have a cup mute. So in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating the cup mute part. Now this mute is also very, very old. Uh, if you look real close here, you can actually see that it is stamped on the front. It says Harman Mute Company at Chicago, Illinois. So that gives you a little bit of information about the age. And then also look here, I'm gonna take this mute apart. Now look here at the label on this mute. You can see that the label is the blue label, which means that this mute is from the 1930s. They changed the label from blue to red in the 1940s. And uh, at least that's my understanding of how they did the labels. So what that means is the bottom of my triple play mute, uh, you can see here actually, it has the red label. This is well, it's probably a different bottom than originally came with this mute. However, it's the same dimensions as it was. Um, it did not change up until, well, pretty recently when they redesigned the triple play. And uh, let me show you the brand new triple play in comparison to this one because the sizes are very different and they sound different and they play different. That is something that you should know because if you are buying one of these vintage ones, then you know it's not gonna be interchangeable, the parts with the modern one, but also you're gonna get a different sound. So check out this modern one. All right, this is the brand new triple play mute. Check this out. Uh, beautiful, great, great craftsmanship. Uh, you can see how in comparison, this mute is significantly bigger uh, on the bottom. The diameter of the cup is much larger and it's actually a little bit taller as well. Uh, so that is a difference. And also if you look actually at the very, very top, inside you can see that the top of this mute, the metal actually curves in a little bit. And the top of this mute, the metal does not curve in. This is flat at the top. And then this one, it actually kind of curves over and goes in. Uh, so there's a couple differences and well, it's gonna be great to hear both of these side by side. And here is what I've done actually. Um, so for this mute, I have shaved the corks because it is so important that we have to shave the corks on our mutes so that they fit properly. Uh, if you don't do that, it's gonna be sticking way too far out of your bell. And well, it's not gonna respond as well. You're not gonna get as good intonation as it could get because these are designed in order to be pretty close to the bell. Now this one here, I shaved the corks really tight. I filed it down so it is very tight to the belt, but I'm gonna demonstrate it in two ways. I have here um, another Harman straight mute. So Harman makes a whole bunch of straight mutes and one of them uh, is this model. And this one right here, this is the same mute that goes inside of this triple play. Uh, so when you take it out, you've, you've got a straight mute, you've got that cut mute when it's all put together and you have the wah. Now, this one right here, I didn't shave the corks on it. So I'm gonna actually demonstrate this mute in two ways. One of them is where I've shaved the cork so it is, is properly tuned in the trumpet real tight. It's got a great sound. And the other one is gonna be further out. 
and you're gonna hear how that sounds. It is a pretty dramatic difference. Another thing that's important, since this is the triple play mute and it is usable in multiple configurations, you're actually gonna wanna file the corks down on the straight mute is as well because you want that to play properly. So this is uh, gonna be a good demonstration for all of you who are out there. Maybe you've got some mutes, you haven't filed the quarks down yet. And uh, this is gonna give you an idea of just how dramatic the difference is uh, from leaving the quarks out to filing the quarks in. To round it all off, we will be checking out this fantastic Harman Cup mute. Uh, look at this, this is a beautiful mute. Um, I love the red color on it. Uh, it's aluminum adjustable cup mute. And check that out, it is uh, easily adjustable, that moves. And then, just like some other mutes that are out there, there is actually a liner on the inside of this mute. Uh, it is like a felt liner, and you can take that out. So I am gonna be demonstrating this mute in a couple configurations, four configurations, actually. Uh, one of them is going to be with the felt liner in, and with the mute all the way out, so that it has the largest gap from the edge of the mute to the bell, and then I'm gonna put it in tight, and then I'm going to do that again, but I'm gonna take that felt liner out so you can hear the difference in this mute. That's the great thing about having an adjustable cup mute, uh, especially one where you can take that liner in and out. It gives you so many different tonal colors, so many uh, different ways that you can be expressive with the mute. Uh, so that is really fantastic. So these are all the mutes that we are gonna hear today. And uh, I think you might just be pretty surprised with how some of these sound. All right, here we go.
So you've just heard all of these Harman Cup mutes and what did you think? Uh, was there one that jumped out at you? Did you have a favorite? Uh, if so, write it down in the comments below. And uh, while you're at it, why don't you give this video a like and hit the subscribe button? Uh, that would really mean a lot to me. So starting off with this vintage, this really old Harman Cup mute. Uh, what did you think about this one? This is such a cool mute and uh, I really dig and I love the sound that comes out of this mute. However, I will say, the dimensions of it, it's smaller. Maybe this would be better suited for a really old, you know, small bore horn with a smaller bell. But this mute for me, it just, it didn't play so well in tune, especially as I started going up higher, it started kind of, you know, blocking off on a couple notes. It wasn't so even and, and it just was a little harder to project. Uh, the sound is so cool. It's really got that great vintage sound. Um, however, that being said, playability wise, I would actually rank this at the bottom of all of the Harman Cup mutes, um, just because over the years they figured it out and it got better and it got better. As a vintage mute, I love uh, being able to play this and share it with you. Now, the other vintage mute that we had, this Harman Triple Play, they really, they really nailed this uh, to begin with. They did a great job making a multi-purpose mute that actually plays pretty well. This mute does have some of the same problems as the other vintage mute. Uh, I think just the size of it and the dimensions of it, uh, the intonation, something about it is a little bit off. And uh, the response and the articulation, well, the articulation on both of these, it just wasn't so crisp, it wasn't so clear. The balance between the tone and the articulation and the sound, uh, for me, uh, it just, it just isn't as good as it could have been. That being said, they really figured it out and they were able to update this mute and create this mute. And I think this one here actually really hits it out of the park. Uh, this mute has got such a great sound. The brand new triple play uh, with the corks filed down. All right, what did you think about when the, when the corks weren't filed down? The one with the extra distance between the end of the mute and the bell, you could hear the difference in the sound. The tonal color was totally different and it's not the sound that you're going for uh, with a cut mute. I think that this really captures uh, a terrific cut mute sound and I really love how it plays. I think the evenness is great. The intonation is fantastic on this mute. Really, it responds very well. Very, very impressed. I always kind of had the impression that these these aluminum mutes that come apart and some, you know, multiple pieces that they were kind of like beginner mutes. They were kind of intro mutes. It's like, you don't have a lot of money. You can buy one, you know, three mutes in one. It's like, no, that's not the case. I think it really sounds very good. I wasn't expecting to be impressed uh, by this mute, but I actually uh, was very impressed. Now, speaking of being impressed by mutes, um, I gotta say, I love this adjustable cup mute. It has got such a great sound and just the amount of sounds that you can get out of it. Uh, the intonation, the response from low F sharp up through a high C, through a high D is really uh, pretty spot on with this mute. I love it with the felt on the inside and then taken out uh, really close, tight into the bell, you know, kind of adjust that. And they have really made a terrific mute. So if you're not familiar with the Harman adjustable cut mute, well, um, you gotta get hip because this is a great option in the cut mute world and and I think a lot of people will will be impressed with this mute. It is super versatile, it's got a great sound. So uh, kudos to Harman, you're doing such a great job with these cut mutes. Uh, I was really impressed. I wasn't too familiar with all of your cut mutes before I made this video. Of course, I've got so many of the Harman, you know, the classic Harman mutes and uh, it was not until more recently that I really started getting some of these cut mutes and I think that they're pretty great. So they are definitely worth checking out. Well, that is just about all we have for today's Mute Monday. Uh, again, if you liked this video, please click the like button, uh, share it with a friend, uh, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, all of that really helps me and it allows me to keep making these videos week after week. Coming up next week for Mute Monday, well, I haven't quite decided what it's gonna be, so you're just gonna have to tune in then. All right, I will see you in the next video.